Collaborative Research Center, 1078, is entitled Protonation Dynamics and Protein Function. So this comprises a research center of 22 principal investigators that are distributed um, all over Berlin, but the major focus is on our home university, the Freie Universität, where most of the PIs are located. And the topic is about the importance of proton transfer reactions in protein function. And when I say protein function, I mostly refer to membrane proteins. And we want to understand how proton transfer controls the function of these molecular machines. So we want to project this onto more complex systems like membrane proteins that are involved in respiration or in photosynthesis or even in optogenetics. In my group we are using vibrational spectroscopic methods to study um, many processes of biomedical relevance ranging from antimicrobial action and resistance to protein misfolding in neurodegenerative diseases. Within the Collaborative Research Center, my focus revolves around the questions of viral infection and inhibition. An important step in this is the ion and proton conductance across the viral membrane into the virus, which is performed by membrane proteins, so-called viroporins. And therefore what we do is we construct single-layered membrane systems on gold electrodes, which we can then use for our spectroscopic method to study the function of these proteins within the single layer of a membrane. Therefore our methods could be used to test potential new antiviral drugs and at the same time also be able to understand via what specific mechanism they are functioning. What is also most crucial is the relevance of theory to connect vibrational spectra to the theoretical part because theory can simulate such spectra which provide us then with the understanding of the molecular mechanism in the end. Our research is mainly focused on understanding biophysical principles of ion channels. Ion channels are very important drug targets because their function is critical for controlling a very wide range of uh, physiological processes and we have two main targets. The first one is a human cyclic nucleotide-gated cation channel. We use molecular dynamic simulation to understand how different cations are conducted through the channel pore. And the second uh, um, target here is viroporin, which is viral ion channel, and they play a pretty important role in uh, facilitating uh, viral um, release from the infected cells. So our aim here is to understand how cation and proton conductions are affected by channel dynamics and protonation. My research was always focused on sensory photoreceptors, mainly from green algae and uh, recently from fungi. Later on, the application in neuroscience, how to use these photoreceptors for making neurons light sensitive, a research topic that is now termed optogenetics. So I'm focusing mainly channel adoption and light activated enzymes. And these channel adoptions are used to make neuronal cells light sensitive in large networks. So that provided the possibility to understand processes in the brain and also malfunction in the brain. And it has been used to treat patients and the channel adoptions have been recently used to recover vision in the blind patient. This is very rewarding that the protein that you studied for 30 years is finally used in medical application. We also need to collaborate with structural biochemists that do time-resolved X-ray crystallography using X-ray free electron lasers. Our main research focuses on untangling the mechanism of photosynthetic protein, photosystem 2 and photosystem 1. We are trying to understand how these proteins are capable to utilize the solar energy and transform it into chemically usable form. So our main mission is to provide the fundamental knowledge of how common metals like manganese, which is forming the manganese cluster in photosystem 2, act as a best catalyst that's capable to fuel natural cells like cyanobacteria, algae and higher plants. In our research, we're trying to apply um, X-ray free electron laser crystallography to uh, capture the intermediate states uh, um, of the photosystem 2 uh, once we're activating the protein pilot. 
So collecting snapshots of subroutine um, at different S states will allow us to provide an atomic movie of how the uh, water oxidation reactions takes place, which will help us pave the way for providing artificial photosynthetic device that can provide clean and renewable energy. In the CRC, we learned a lot about protein dynamics, hydrogen bonded networks, and we followed them from the femtosecond to the second range, and we can directly show what is going on in the protein. The question now is, what are the reasons for these processes going on, and that is where, for example, electric field interactions take, comes into place, and this is the main goal, to get fundamental understanding and to make them applicable to real systems or to model systems to help, for example, in medicine or in biotechnology to get functions that we learn from in the nature. Our midterm and long-term perspective is looking at things like electric fields in, in, in proteins, something that comes basically from physical chemistry or from, from physics, and we apply such principles um, to biological, to living systems. And this is, um, in the end, the goal of this collaborative research center.